All right, here we are in the client dashboard, uh, and we want to start a new return. Go click client re client manager and new return, and proceed with typing in the social security number. Now we are in the personal information screen and we're going to enter the primary taxpayer's information. That includes their first name, middle initial, last name, social security number, date of birth, occupation, things of that nature. Um, now we're going to select the filing status as head of household and we're going to input the taxpayer's home address and their zip code. Now their email and their home phone and whatever contact information you have. City. We're going to drop down. And we're going to choose save. Now we're going to select the, uh, the state mandatory information. This is regarding your school district. Alright. This is Columbus Public. And now we're going to continue and add some dependents. So we're going to put their first name. To come up with a creative first name for fictitious purposes. Have son. Son Doe. All right. Son Doe is my son, and his birthday is January second, two thousand twelve. Right. Your information, of course, will be different. So we're just adding this in the dependent information just to show that we have dependents. Now notice the uh, it, it assumes the correct um, what is this? Oh, okay. We want to make sure they they pass the substantial presence test. This is actually an update. It's all about confirming that information because it's a lot of EIC fraud. So on to the next child. I want to name this one Daughter Doe. She is our daughter. Okay. Entering the social. Now notice the uh, did this child live with you for last for, with, with you last year? Yes. They live with us for more than six months. Okay, so we added two dependents. Next, we're going to um, type in the uh, HSH for the household employee entering screen. And here we have it in the middle there. Add. It's going to ask us for two bits of information. One is the uh, name of the employer, and the other is the employee wages. Now, you don't have, you don't have to put the name of the employer. As you'll see here, um, I'm just going to put any old random name, and then I'm going to put another entry in, I'm just going to say miscellaneous. When you finish the actual return, you'll notice that it'll report on line 7 of your 1040 as your household employee income without regard to what you put as their employer. So just, just keep that as, as your own FYI, it's just, you know, something that you just use the software something that we use to separate or yeah, separate or organize the income that you make doing household jobs while you're doing the direct input on the actual screen. Now we're going to add a Schedule C for some uh, cleaning business that he has. And yours may be different. Maybe this person does household employee work and W-2 work. But, uh, but ours is uh, Schedule C. So they have a uh, side business made 
about 10,000. Okay, a little on advertising and office expenses. And then legal services. And we're about done, so we're gonna save. Okay, now we're going to go to the uh, the e file. file in order to um, submit the return to the IRS directly. Save. Next, we're going to do the uh, EIC checklist. Make sure that's good. And we want to select the uh, ways we determine their uh, their qualifications. So in this case, we we determined that they were residents by checking the, any lease, and um, we, we we looked at some of the uh, taxpayers' income summaries or any receipts that they brought in to confirm his income. Your information may be different. At the bottom there, we select taxpayer it provided the information um, and save. At the bottom right. Now, here's the where we select completed and reviewed. And now we're going to go to the uh, dashboard. Looks like a client overview screen and view the actual forms that we just created in the past six, six and a half minutes. So there are all the forms that we created. We've got a 1040, that's the easy uh, self employment. Of course, you have these letters at the beginning, privacy policy, uh, things of that nature. Notice the here's the household income line seven, twenty-seven fifty-seven. HSH. The rest is just your typical form. Ten forty. Uh, your schedules and worksheets, things of that nature. Payment voucher, income summary report. Um, state return and your local return that's pretty much it so if you have any questions give us a call 614-484-9313 or visit us online at rfp.com